Hello and welcome to Reality News Roundup. Here are the top stories of the day. The central government on Tuesday earmarked more than rupees 7,000 crore for two central schemes, the Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation and the Smart Cities Mission. The general budget for the upcoming fiscal reserved rupees 3,205 crore for the development of 100 smart cities across the country by 2020, while nearly 4,091 crore has been set aside for Amrut. The Urban Development Ministry is planning to develop 100 more such cities on the lines of smart cities. The Haryana Urban Development Authority has decided to make amendments in the Gurgaon Manesar Development Plan 2021. The civic body wants to construct a railway overbridge above the delhi Rewadi railway line to provide direct connectivity to a few sectors of Old Gurgaon with Dwarka Expressway. For this, the alignment of the sector 101 to 104 road, which will provide a direct connectivity to sectors 9, 9A, 10, 10A of Old Gurgaon to Dwarka Expressway will have to be changed. A senior official of Huda said the new plan would allow residents to skip NH8 and reach Delhi or airport directly. The National Green Tribunal has directed the Noida Authority to deliver a detailed report with evidence of violation of all real estate developers violating its March 1 orders. Several developers had raised objections that they were being falsely framed by the Civic Authority. To date, the Noida Authority has fined 11 builders and issued show cause notices to 70 others. The NGT panel had asked authorities to strictly impose a fine of Rs 50,000 on builders who were violating the environment norms. Addressing the red tape issues raised by restaurants, hotels, medical stores and small-scale industry owners, the Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation has reduced the number of no-objection certificates required by them to run their businesses. This exercise, which is part of Ease of Doing Business initiative, is primarily aimed at reducing corruption in the civic body. The BMC has also reduced the number of levels a file goes through before being cleared. Now some smart news to heat and power your house. Scientists in the United Kingdom have developed a new moth-inspired ultra-thin graphene sheets which can be used in smart wallpaper that can generate electricity from waste light or heat and power a host of applications at home. Using a technique known as nanotexturing, it involves growing graphene around a textured metallic surface to effectively capture light. Thank you for watching. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram.